Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is rotate bits. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given an integer capital N and an integer capital D, rotate the binary representation of integer N by D digit to the left as well as right and return the result in their decimal representation after each of the rotation. So basically we need to, uh, our uh, we have been given a number N, now we can have its binary representation. That binary representation we need to convert, uh, we need to rotate it in the left direction by D times as well as towards the right by d times and again convert back to their decimal value and return those decimal values ok. Integer n is stored using 16 bits so we will consider the binary representation as 16 bits so for example 12 will be stored as this ok. Now let us look at example for better understanding suppose the given number n is 28 and d is 2 then so this is the binary representation using 16 bits. If we rotate it left by two positions, then this will become this, the binary representation, the 1, 1, 1 will shift towards left two times and we will get two zeros here. So basically when we will left uh, uh, rotate it towards left, so 1, 1 bits would be shifted and this bit will come here. So this is my new number after rotating it two times by two positions in the left and the decimal value is 112. Similarly, if we rotate it uh, towards right by two position, the decimal represent the binary representation will become this and the decimal value is 7. So, we return 112 and 7. That is the value which we get after rotating it towards left and towards right by d number of positions. If we look at second example, then 29 d is equals to 2. So, if we rotate it left, it will become this and the value is 116. If we rotate it right by two positions, then it will become this. Here there is a bit mistake. This one should come here because if you rotate this right uh, by two positions, so what will happen? This one will come here after one rotation and will go to this position after two rotations. So this one would come here at the second position, okay? And its decimal value would be 16,391. Our task is to complete the rotate function which takes integer n and integer d as inputs and returns an array of size 2 where array of 0 is decimal value after left rotation and array of 1 is decimal value after right rotation. The expected time and auxiliary space is constant big O of 1 and the constraints are given here. So now if we think about solving this problem then basically we are given a number n and we represent its binary representation using 16 bits right and then we rotate it in the left direction by d number of positions and we rotate it in the right direction by d number of positions again convert back into its decimal value and return these two values right return this and return this now understand this we are doing left rotation so if we look if we understand with a small example suppose my number is 01100 right this is the binary representation of a number so, how does left rotation happen? In a left rotation, all the bits are shifted towards left by one position and this bit will come back here, right? Because the number of bits are fixed. Suppose here the number of bits required to represent the number is 5, that is fixed. In our question, it is 16, right? So, now this number will become 11000. If I again left rotate it, it would become 1000 and this one would go back here. Similarly, what will happen in right rotation support it is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. All the bits will shift towards the right by one position and this will come here, right? This is, these are rotating in the right direction. So, this would be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. If I again right rotate it, it would be 1, 0, 0, 0 and 1 and so on, okay? So, we need to rotate our given number, the binary representation of a given number by D positions. Now understand this, d in the input is very large, I think it is up to 10 key power 5. Are we going to make this many rotations? No. Why? Because suppose we are representing our number by 3 bits, suppose. Then after every 3 rotations, I will get back the same structure. Suppose I left rotate it, I left rotate it by 1 position. So this would become 101. One. I again left rotate it, it would become 011. One, one. I again left rotate it, what it would become 110 which is same as the initial because the number of bits in this is 3. So after every 3 rotations, I will get back the same structure even if it is left direction or right direction. So basically if 
our number is represented using 16 bits as mentioned in the question then the effective number of rotations would be how much d is equals to d modulo 16 because if there are 16 rotations there are zero effective rotations that is 16 modulo 16 if there are 17 rotations there is only one effective rotation because after 16 rotations the number will become the same then one more rotation will be effective similarly if i have 34 rotations the effective number of rotations would be 2 if i have 8 number of rotations the effective number of rotations would be 8 and so on so we are going to do only d modulo 16 rotations so our number of rotations will not be more than 15 the effective number of rotations now one way to do this question is to first of all convert our given number in binary representation of 16 bits then makes uh, d number of rotations and at each rotation rotate the bits towards left or towards right okay but in the in that we need to make d number of rotations what can be a better idea is if we can analyze that which bit will be at which position after d number of rotations for example suppose i represent my number using seven bits okay then this is 2 key power 0 position, 2 key power 1, 2 key power 2, 2 key power 3, 2 key power 4, 2 key power 5, 2 key power 6. Okay, so these are the 7 positions. Suppose the digit here first of all is B0, bit number 0. This is B1, this is B2, this is B3, this is B4, this is B5 and this is B6 in the initial number. Now if I left rotate it by 4 positions then what will happen? Understand this where will b0 go after first rotation it would be here after second it would be here after third it would be here and after four it would be here right so b0 would be here b1 would be just after that and b2 would be just after that b0 would be here so it will be at the position 2 key power 4 this would be at 2 key power 5 and this would be at 2 key power 6 right where would be b3 it would be here because it would be here at 2 key power 0 position understand this b6 will be where after first rotation it will go here after second year after third year and after fourth year so b6 will go at 2 key power 3 b6 would be here b5 would be here b4 would be here and b3 would be here right look at b3 first rotation second rotation third rotation and fourth rotation so it would be here so this is 2 key power 3 2 key power 2 2 key power 1 and 2 key power 0 so now what I can do is I can traverse from 0th bit to the 6th bit and whenever a particular bit is set I'll add the particular value. So if this bit is set b5 I'll add 2 key power 2 in my answer because this is the binary representation we want to convert back into decimal right. So for example if it is 0 1 0 then the value of this is how much 2 key power 1 so I'll add it to my answer my answer would be 2 right. Now I want to generalize that which bit will come at 2 key power 0. Now look at here. Here the number of rotations D was 4. The number of bits used to represent was 7. So after doing 4 number of rotations B3 came here. So can I say 7 minus D modulo 7 would be the bit which would be present at this position. So basically what happened, uh, suppose uh, I am rotating towards left by one position, then what will be the output here? 7 minus 1 modulo 7, which is nothing but 6. And after one rotation, what will happen? B6 will go here at 2 key power 0. So the bit which is present at 2 key power 0 would be which one? It would be 7 minus D modulo 7. Then what would be the bit next to it? Suppose this is i, then the next bit would be i plus 1 modulo 7, then the next bit would be i plus 1 modulo 7. So basically i will become i plus 1 modulo 7, again i equal to i plus 1 modulo 7, so 3 will become 4, 4 will become 5, 5 will become 6, after 6 it would be 6 plus 1 modulo 7, 7 modulo 7, so it will become b0 and so on. So basically if I know uh, d, then I can traverse from 2 key power 0 to 2 key power 6 and 
I can initialize my bit with uh, 7 minus d modulo 7 in this case and keep incrementing it by 1 and make the loop and I can check whether that bit is equal to 1. If that is equal to 1, I can add the respective power. Now we need to analyze for right rotation. So for right rotation, what will happen? This is 2 key power 0, 2 key power 1, 2 key power 2, 2 key power 3, 2 key power 4, 2 key power 5 and 2 key power 6. This is B0, this is B1, this is B2, this is B3, this is B4, this is B5 and this is B6. What will happen after one rotation? B0 will come here, B6 would be here, B5 would be here, B4 would be here, B3 would be here, B2 would be here and B1 would be here. What will happen after one more rotation? So this is one rotation, this is two rotation. So B1 would be here, B0 would be here. B6 would be here, B5 would be here, B4 would be here, B3 would be here and B2 would be here. In the next step B3 will come here. So after 0 rotations, 0th bit is a, at the 2 key power 0 position. After one rotation B1 that is the first bit in the original binary representation is at 2 key power 0 position. After second rotation, second bit is at this position. After third rotation, third bit is at this position. So I can start with initially bit number D. So now if we look at uh, this with the help of uh, our example, the, our question in our question number is represented using 16 bits. So after doing uh, D number of left rotations, what would be the bit at 2 key power 0? It would be I equals to 16 minus D modulo 16 where d is nothing but d modulo 16 and uh, if we rotate the numbers towards the right what would be the bit at 2 key power 0 it would be nothing but simply d and in each step we can keep incrementing it and whenever a bit is set we can add the respective value and return answer left and right now let's look at its actual implementation if you have a little bit of doubt it will be cleared so now if we look at the actual implementation, so I have taken left and right, uh, which are the integers to be returned. This is the value after left rotation and this is the value after right rotation. I have taken bits of 16 to represent our number in 16 bits format and initially I have taken sum equals to 1. Even if you do not initialize it, it will be okay. We will see further and some variables to loop over. First of all, d equals to d modulo 16. Then what I have done is I have converted my number n into binary representation and stored the bits in this array. Okay, so at each step bits of i equals to n modulo 2 and n is equals to n by 2. Now don't get confused here. Okay, see when we in, uh, when we write a number in binary format, suppose my n is 5, that is number of bits is 5, suppose and the number is 7. So it would be represented like this. Okay. So LSB to MSB we go in this way, but here we are storing from 0 index and we are going up till 15th index. So this number would be stored as 111000 and so on for 16 bits if number is 7. Okay, So don't get confused. This is the actual and this is how we are storing it here. Okay. Now we are we want to calculate the left rotation part. So I have initialized sum is equals to 1. What I am doing at every step I am doing sum is equals to sum multiplied by 2. Why? Because the value of the 0th bit is 2 key power 0 that is 1. Then the next bit well, uh, would contribute 2, next bit would contribute 2 square, next bit would contribute 2 cube and so on. So that is basically what sum is doing. In the left rotation, my bit at the LSB position will be which one? 16 minus D modulo 16 as we discussed. So this is the starting bit and in each step we will do I equals to I plus 1 modulo 16 and I have taken J so that we can loop for 16 times. Okay, If the bit at that position is equals to 1, understand this, J is representing the bit actual bit position so 2 key power 0 position 2 key power 1 position 2 key power 2 position and so on but after reversing our given binary representation towards left by d number of digits which bit would be present here 16 minus d modulo 16 so that would be i here it would be i plus 1 modulo 16 here it would be i plus 2 modulo 16 and so on you got this point so basically we, uh, the bit after rotation at here would be i which is nothing but 16 minus d modulo 16 and it will contribute to 2 key power 0. So if bits of i 
ओके आई कैन बी एट अदर पोजिशन इन द ओरिजिनल रिप्रेजेंटेशन बट आफ्टर रोटेटिंग इट केम यर सो इफ बिट्स एट आई पोजिशन इक्वल्स टू वन देन दैट पोजिशन विल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट हाउ मच वैल्यू सम वैल्यू सो लेफ्ट इज इक्वल्स टू लेफ्ट प्लस सम सिमिलरली आई स्टार्ट अगेन सो सम इज इक्वल्स टू वन नाउ वेन वी रोटेट इट टूवर्ड्स द राइट साइड विच बिट विल बी एट टू की पावर जीरो the dth bit after d number of rotations so it will, we will start with the dth bit and it will go i equal to i plus 1 modulo 16 and j i have used to make 16 loops okay if bits of i equals to 1 right is equal to right plus sum and sum is equals to sum into 2 and i have taken one vector because we want to return the answer in the vector and we have added left and right and finally return the answer vector what would be the time complexity now understand this here we are using 16 uh, size for loop here also 16 size for loop and here also 16 size for loop so basically i can say it is constant time what is the auxiliary space the auxiliary space taken here is nothing but a 16 size array uh, to represent the number in 16 bits and then some variables so that is also constant so i can say auxiliary space is also big of 1 now let's submit this code <coughs> Let's submit it. So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution completely. Thank you.